All right, guys, we're headed to Louisville, Kentucky. I got my man JT with me. We're headed to Louisville to my tattoo artist. I'm going to show you guys around when we get there and introduce you to him, but let's go get some tattoos. <laughs> All right, guys, just pulled up Highland Tattoo Company. My man Dodie's in here. We're going to go check it out in a second. He got some signage since we was here last. But let's go in here, see what he's up to. We're going to get some stuff drawn up and get to it. All right, y'all, we with the lettering specialist. My oh, man Dodi sketching up. This can be bold, I guess. Mm -hmm. The loyalty. And he's hand drawing this. His love. Is you gonna do negative space or it's gonna be a little of both tied in all together? No, both. Are you getting it? Right there, old skinny arm. So, yeah, we're gonna finish this drawing up, go over and get set up, and get to it. Y'all gonna have to wait to see what I'm getting. Y'all talking about gaming over too? Every different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that what they're doing? <laughs> yeah. Look, that's what 36 year olds are doing. <laughs> <laughs> How that feeling? Oh, it feels great. Feels great. Yeah. The yeah, back, the real one really is not bad. Not bad? I'm going to say, some of the back of the arms a little tender from, if I remember, but it's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's not bad at all. pretty light-handed. <laughs> Shake your mind. Background music, you get DMCA, sir. Press here. Press here. Epstein didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, not that he. Did. I kid through the ball one time. Everybody got out of the way, and he just standing at the back of the gym. Shoot, how'd it feel? I hey, for real, not bad. Not that bad. It, that's that's it, fresh. It, I've had worse, that's for sure. That's yeah, not too sensitive of a spot, but this this area was. was the yeah, up by the elbow. Yeah. All right. That's that's what he does. If you guys, I didn't show you this wall, but definitely lettering is his thing. That's that's what we come to most most of the time. He did my throat. You guys have seen. That's my favorite one. The self-made. He did the blessed on the side of my head. He did. Uh, I don't know what other lettering I got, but you guys see what kind of lettering we're about to get in a minute. All right, guys, so JT is done. Just got it cleaned up. Dodie is setting up the station for my tattoo, guys. And this is a tattoo I've been wanting to get for a while. I actually was gonna get a tattoo for my son today. And my wife, the night before I left, my wife says, no, hold on, let's go together and get something for our son. And so you get something else. So I've been wanting this tattoo for a while. Every time we're on the road, I try to talk the guys into going and getting this. And so we're gonna do it today. I'm gonna wait, you guys will see it when the stencil goes on. But we're gonna go ahead and knock it out today, guys. Like I said, it's been a while. I have been thinking about doing this and Let's go ahead and do it. One of them came on the other day. Uh, I think it was the one with Rip in it. That'd be good. But there was like... All right, man, what y'all think? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's all. I guess so the shadow will fade out a little bit you guys can see and then there is a shadow inside as well 
that is gonna, you know, the logo got some shadow on it. So I will update you guys in a little while when it is not as red. But there it is, boy. All right, guys, I wanted to give just a little context, a little backstory, I guess, for my tattoos and why I chose to get this tattoo. You guys, really, you know, as somebody who is covered in tattoos, to me, it's become a lifestyle. It's just a, a, a look that I like to have. Obviously, I like tattoos. I like what they look like. I also have relationships with different tattoo artists, and so it is just something almost the same as going to your same barber for all those years. You build that relationship with a tattoo artist. And so, you know, getting tattoos is something that's really just a lifestyle, something that I like. And when I look at my tattoos that I've gotten over the years, they really tell a story of where I was. And so a lot of my original first tattoos are religious guys. Back in the day, I was in my church band and I was super involved in church. So I do have a lot of religious tattoos. And then they basically just develop over time and I can basically tell you my story of where I was at and what I was doing at the time and why I chose to get that tattoo. So for me, that's a cool thing. It's a fun little storyteller. I'm gonna be able to tell my son when he gets older, you know, this is my first one. This is why I got it. And then go on down the list and explain things. So. Guys, the 245 tattoo, obviously you guys know I rock hard with 245. Without linking up with 245, guys, I would not be where I am today. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't still own my barbershop, obviously. I already owned the barbershop before I met the 245 guys. But since meeting them, guys, my career has just gone to the next level. They've given me some opportunities that I never would have had before. Some of the guys on the team have become like family to me. These are the guys I talk to every day and are the closest with. They were at my wedding. Just a very close group of people that mean a lot to me. And so the brand overall, you guys know I stand behind. A couple of them had chosen to get the logo tattooed. And so it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And so we knocked it out today. All right, guys, so we're all done with the tattoos. We had to stop at JT's favorite spot. If you're in Texas, definitely check it out. That's tacos I best, best talk i have to bleep this guy out he doesn't understand but anyway guys if you're in texas area we're not in texas but that's where it started so definitely look it up and i'll show you guys what it's all about where's the one that's the one that's the one right there guys chicken chicken in the taco just like how we like it in kentucky trailer park trash all right, guys, this is it. JT would say it's stoner food. So this one's got chicken tenders on it. This is a pork carnitas. And JT got some shrimp and the chicken tender one as well. That's the trailer part. So that's and it. And then this queso, guys. That's it. You got to get it. But we're going to eat and get back home. All right, guys, that's it for Torchies. We're headed back to Kentucky. I said that last time. We're already in Kentucky. We're heading back to Owensboro. Actually, we're in Indiana right now. But anyway, we're headed back, guys. I hope you guys like the tattoo. JT's was fire as well. Oh, we all covered up. My legs all wrapped up. We're hurting, but if you guys liked it, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up, leave me a comment, and let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys next time.